My man, what's, what's up, happening? Bro? Dude, I love pimento cheese sandwiches. They, what why? Of course you're Southern here. Look, All right. here you go. All right, so here's the deal. By the way, you know the whole story about how Augusta National screwed up and lost the original recipe? Please, please. All right, so here's the deal. There was a local businessman who they, like, subcontracted to make all these sandwiches. Right. And then because of, like, you know, food safety rules not that long ago, they had to start doing them in-house. Okay. So they fired the local guy, but they fired him before they got the recipe. <laughs> now, here's the best part. This dude sent me the recipe. I have it. The real one. So the here's original. the deal. So here's the deal. I got a book on sale right now. It's called The Cost of These Dreams. Just came out. Every single person who can send me a screenshot that they bought it on Amazon. My email address is writeespn at gmail.com. Every single person who sends me that screenshot, I will send you the actual Augusta National pimento cheese recipe. Are you serious right yeah. now? Yeah, I'm dead serious. I have it. You and just, you love these just things. Talk for a while. Yeah, talk for a while. Just look. Just say, say stuff about golf. You're not going to tell me that what is inside those two pieces of bread looks at all appetizing. You're, the, I mean, you're an idiot. This is fabulous. No, 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 no. I'm look. It's two fat guys arguing about food. One of us. Well, actually, we could both be right. <laughs> Egg salad? You tell me egg salad is not as good as that? What, Here. What are you talking about? I don't know. I'm talking about nothing. How do you feel about Tiger Woods? Because, what, last year? A couple years ago. Two years ago. Two years ago, you did a story on Tiger Woods yep. that was one of the coolest things I've ever read. I'm, I mean, it didn't make Tiger's camp very happy. <laughs> but it's a cold, cool world. Yeah, you know what I mean. Look, you just went and asked some people a whole bunch of questions and found out some stuff that no one knew before. But this year, coming into this tournament, how are you feeling about Tiger Woods? Look, man, you know, one, I would love to see him win for a variety of reasons. Whatever. Look, the man's paid a heavy physical and psychological price. But the larger thing to me is. I was on uh, over with Van Pelt just a minute ago, and mm. I've talked endlessly about how my dad brought me into the room to watch the 86 Masters, and, you know, he was emotional. I didn't get it. Right. I was just sitting there waiting to go on, and I just Googled date final round of 1986 Masters, and it pops up. And, I mean, I, I just got chill bumps sitting there because it was the day before my dad turned 40. And so, like, I just didn't really realize that, like, here was this guy who he remembers from his youth as being young and powerful, mm. who had had those things stripped away from him. And now, here was this guy seeking to briefly turn back time and recapture some of that thing that had been lost. So, my dad, literally on the eve of his 40th birthday, saw some of himself in that. And I think if Tiger gets to Sunday on the back nine, like, how old are you? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm a little younger, but we're roughly the same generation. Yes, we so are. So for people our age, it would be one, the defining sports memory of our lives. And I think True when, that. when he makes the turn on Sunday, it's not going to be Tiger Woods just playing for himself out there. It's all of us going to be like, if he can do this, maybe I'm not so old and gray. Do you know what I mean? I looked in the mirror the other day. I'm like, who is that guy? But he did that for us already at the Open Championship and at the PGA Championship. So my thought is, if he gets anywhere near the lead on Saturday gotta, or Sunday. Got to bring it home, man. Oh, well, do they, you think They get can? better when they get hot because it sort of like has a grilled cheesy thing going on. That Just the look of that right now, I no, feel – I'm going back to when I was, like, seven years old yeah. and my mom tried to force me to eat broccoli and Brussels sprouts. You think – You're this, just going to sit there and say – All this is cheese and mayonnaise. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yes. You know what it is? Well, email me and I'll tell you, right? <laughs> ESPN at gmail.com. Hold on. You got to buy the book on Amazon. No, I'm not going to send it to you if you don't send me a screenshot of the fact so that you bought the book. So, one of the things about how these things are – you love them, too, and I love the egg salad, but they're only, like, $1.25 – Merchandise, man. How much do you? How many times have you been here? This is thirteen or fourteen. Ha, ah, dog. Say I, you're say, a veteran. So I'm banned from the thing. I used to not pack right on purpose, and then my wife said, "If you bring anything home with that logo on it, I'm just th everything that already is in the house with the logo. I'm throwing away." Nah. -uh. So like every time I show up with something new, something's got to go. <laughs> So, you know, like some people, you know, the sports writers who only wear gear from, like, majors? Yes. Yeah, no, like, she's not into that. She will throw that stuff straight away. You want to know something cool that people take home from here without even going to the merchandise tent? What? This might be the only tournament where you will not find any cups no, in trash cans. Because people going around, dude, picking up a beer cup off the ground is worse than eating after a caddy.
Yeah, but none of these ever hit the ground, and I've actually seen people standing by the trash cans hoping people are throwing these out. There's a white one and the green one, and now they put the year on it as well. Hold on, look. All right, so the green one only has the logo on one side, like this, okay? Blank but, on the other the side. the white one's the way to go. The white, one, the white one actually has the year and the logo on it, which is pretty cool. Which I like. But they're both, I would say they're both super duper collectible. And, you know, you buy yourself a drink while you're out here, get a couple. But you see people leave with stacks and stacks of them as they're walking out. What's the most you ever spend in the merchandise tent? I bet I've dropped $700 in there before. 700 That's it? The average first timer, twelve hundred bucks. Well, the average first timer is crazy. Like, how do they go? How are they still married? Let me tell you something. This is my seventh masters. Yeah. I'm gonna show you exactly what I got. Okay. Let's see it. Let's this see is it. what, and this my seventh time. This is what twelve hundred bucks looks like. By the way, since he doesn't have a microphone, and I'll keep it away from him, he expensed all of this. <laughs> so, well, I didn't. Now that you told him, dummy, you messed it up for me. Uh, that's twelve hundred dollars. What's this? Okay. What do we got? Get it out. I'm gonna show you some of my favorite oh, stuff. You, all right. You got Masters Oakleys, bruh, dude. They got they got some special edition Masters Oakleys. These are the new frog skins. Yeah, I know you want They're some the new frog skins. Yeah. They have the prism lenses, but if you get in real tight and look on the bottom left, you'll see the Masters logo. Well, the Masters logo is good. You do look like a small-town high school baseball coach. And that's a bad thing, because why? No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> Frog skin's light. Yeah. That's the only light thing you got this week. Yeah, so here's one of the big things that is great about the Masters. Oh, yeah. You got the year on it, right? Yes. Yeah. But if you're lucky on Sunday, you get into the merchandise tent, and sometimes you'll find the ones without the year on them. Oh. Which are huge finds. Now, I'm going to give you a tip. When someone invites you over to dinner, what do you usually take over? Bottle of wine, right? Yeah. 40 bucks. Yeah. This is $25. $25. And we go to Michael's or something, you get yourself a $19 frame, and you go take somebody a master's flag for dinner. Guess what? Next time they invite other people over for dinner, they're going to take wine, <laughs> 50, 60 bucks. They're going to look at the wine, look at the wall. And you're getting invited back See, what, to dinner. Well, I, I don't think you're giving these. I think you're hoarding them all in your whatever your weird man cave sex dungeon is. I may have a few. Well, you know what? Here's where I have a problem. Uh, what, oh, oh, Michael. I, Michael. I have a hat issue. I have there's a hat issue. This there. is, here's what's funny. Many, look how many bucket hats. Well, see, here's the thing. So this master's hat here with the silver on it yeah. is already sold out. It's sold out on Tuesday. So the only ones you can get are similar to what the caddies wear, except the caddy ones have leather on the back and not Velcro. But these are the, I, I have a hat problem. Look at all the bucket hats. No, I do like a bucket hat. All right. So the price on the regular hats was like 26, yeah. 26 bucks. These are double X because I got a big head too. I'm taking one. Which this is $38 here for these bucket hats. So I have white, navy blue, and the green. You may pick one. I actually got one for me, one for my boy George Lopez, and then just in case I got backup hats. Because me and you sweat the same. So we, that's what I'm saying. We ruin hats quick. Yeah. Yeah. Like, even now, there's not a cloud in the sky. This is the days that people talk about, except for big dudes like me and him. We end up looking like... Although, to be fair, I just crushed a pimento cheese sandwich on the internet or wherever we are right now. So, I don't know how to tell you this, man, because I don't know if you know or not. How long you been off of Twitter? Four years. Say hello to the Twitterverse. This is a live Twitter show. This is, is this is your first time back on Twitter in four years. You notice oh, that we didn't I tell I got him. some stuff to say. <laughs> it's just people that got some stuff to say to you, probably. But no, for stop real. Stop letting trolls. You see what I'm saying? No, I wasn't letting trolls. I was letting my own total lack of self-control, my temper, and my predilection for extreme violence and defending my family take control of my life. True that. And, you know... We both like to have a little nip every now and then, Dude. except you tweet after, and I throw my phone away. Oh, the problem is, the real problem is, is after, like, three drinks, I think I'm hilarious. <laughs> and I'll see stuff online. I'm just like, the next day, I'm like, 
<laughs> this is why I didn't drink when I was doing stand-up comedy full time. Same thing. I think I'm a scream. No, I know. I'm like, this is great. I got this is gold. <laughs> this is fabulous. I'm killing it. I'm doing so good. And then you look down and you're like, oh, they're not, they're not laughing, are they? <laughs> I want to ask you about this place. Yeah. What's your favorite thing about the Masters? My, oh, that's a good question. My favorite thing, well, they don't have it anymore, but my favorite thing used to be they used to have those bleachers out at Amen Corner. Mm. And what I used to love to do is on a day when I was finished writing, I used to go like to get like a backpack with some waters and get a bunch of pimento cheese sandwiches. And I would just go sit up there for about five hours on like a Thursday or Friday and watch all the people come through and just sit there and watch golf. And it was fabulous. That was where I was sitting one time and no joke, there was a Ari Emanuel, the agent, was giving Les Moonves a back rub. Shut swear up. Swear to God, sitting next to me. <laughs> and I was just like... <laughs> oh, and then Urban Meyer was up there. Like, it was weird. The people that you just see walking around. Yeah, because they don't care if you're Urban Meyer. You can't get inside the ropes. The other thing is because there are no cell phones allowed, as famous as you are, no one's going to be able to... Look at I got a cobweb just flew on me right there. As famous as you are, no one's going to be running up to you with a cell phone but, going, can we get a cell phone? Or bothering you because the Pinkertons, like, no, they don't play. Like, it's for real. No one's... You're not getting thrown out of the Masters looking at a Kardashian. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> or, like, there's no one famous enough for you to get that badge taken. Yes. So you, and, and you just don't want to do that. Mm. Have, do you have one story from the Masters that you love to tell people? I, you know what I tell people about you? While you think of that, I'm going to tell people something. The first time we met face-to-face -face was here. Yeah. And we had dinner together at a house, a little barbecue cookout. And I start, he tells me, start telling caddy stories. So I start telling caddy stories what no one's heard before. And what do you do? Try, you, this one tries to get me to write a book. I do, because the, the deodorant story is the greatest thing i ever heard. <laughs> so I'm not going to make you tell, but you should, you no. should add him on Twitter or whatever it's called. <laughs> the, uh, my favorite thing ever is we were, having, uh, we were up in, the, in the, the dining room, like off the veranda. We were having lunch one day. We'd all eaten, and we ordered some... Uh, Peach cobbler, and then a mortified look at Mater D comes over, and he's like, uh, "Gentlemen, I'm I'm so so sorry. I, I don't like to do this, but Mr. Nicholas needs this table." And we were like, "Oh, we're done. We're, we don't need dessert. Thank you very much. Like, let's, let's pay." Let, no, we we're like, "If Jack needs the table at Augusta, Jack's getting the table." Did you see him? Huh? Did you get to see him, or did they clear you out before oh, you even no, got we to just see put him? Our head down and left. <laughs> I'm not. You don't look Jack in the eye. No. <laughs> Look him in the eye. No, you turned to salt. <laughs> you didn't know that? He's not Medusa. He's the Medusa. Jake's an amazing he's, guy. He's, he's no, awesome. He's not, no, he's the best. Yeah. And he, well, you got to get on Air Bear. <laughs> he turned to salt. You got to get on Air Bear, man. <laughs> have you ever been on Air I Bear? I have been on Air Bear. The pilots. I'm kind of hating on you right the, now. The pilots wear shirts that instead of pilots' wings have like a modified bear logo and it says Air Bear on the shirts. No way. I wanted one so bad, and I just couldn't figure out a way to just straight up ask. Okay, how about this? If I get you an Air Bear shirt, yeah. will you ghost write my book for me? Absolutely not. Because <laughs> here's what he you, didn't you, tell you, too, at the end of him trying to get me to write a book. After a bunch of phone calls happen, he goes, it'll be the worst three years of your life, but you'll thank me at some point. That's true. No. Yeah, you give me an Air Bear shirt plus $500,000. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think's winning this week? Man, if you had to, if you had to take a hundred bucks and you could only Ricky put it Fowler. on one, per really? I didn't even think that just came out. Like I was trying not to like over, over plan it. Okay. But I, and I think the universe would sort of be rewarded too. If I would like to see Ricky win. R you think Ricky solidifies the universe and aligns the planets more than Rory McIlroy would getting the Grand Slam finally accomplished? That's interesting. Both of them would be the opposite of. Uh, the end of the last Avengers movie, but like, yeah, yeah, like, you know, like, I, I don't know. I, I really, I love stuff in this one. No, but I like, I like both, both of them. Those. That's yeah, me but, too. Yeah, but like, I mean, I, you hate to use the word deserve. No one deserves anything. Yeah, certainly not. A millionaire doesn't deserve to win another million dollars. You know what I mean? True. But I would like to see it happen for Ricky. But when it comes to this tournament too, no one cares about the money. This would be the one place, too, that if you told every guy in this field, unfortunately, this year you're not getting paid and you can go home if you want to, 
not one dude yeah, would leave. But I would say the other side of that is, if you took every dude in this field, most of whom are very, very rich and have their airplanes, they were going to take all your money away and you're going to have to go sell insurance and be an amateur, but we will give you one master's win, none of them take it. They wouldn't trade that airplane for that jacket. No way. They would Maybe one. You know what? They wouldn't take that jacket if they had to fly home southwest. No, that's a lie. This is a complete. No. This is what happens when you eat pimento cheese that have been sitting out in the sun. Would you put Percocet like in three? these things? <laughs> <laughs> like, Look, I'll get you a fresh one. That one's oh, been yes. sitting out even further. I think I'm not going to eat this in the car. <laughs> I'm definitely going to eat it. How many of those do you have? Don't act like. Don't act like that's making it to the car. Look, man, thanks for coming and hanging out. You go ahead and eat that and stuff. Remember, live coverage is on ESPN.